My grandfather gifted me his Leica. This is no Leica M6, M3. This is no mid 90s Leica point and shoot. This is the mostly forgotten about Leica M1. My grandfather, Charles Johnson, is a very talented photographer who has a PhD in physical chemistry. He grew up taking photos. In high school, he worked at a camera store and he learned how to develop film and darkroom print at home, which I don't have a PhD. In fact, I only have a high school diploma, but I also did teach myself how to develop film at home. Uh, anyway, he then went to teach at the University of Illinois, Yale, and University of Chapel Hill. And he wrote a book, Science for the Curious Photographer, which I have the first and second edition of right here. It's a very complex book that covers how photography actually works. That sentence as a summary does not cover the full scope of how thoroughly detailed and thought out this book is. I'll include a link below to where you can buy a copy of the book. It's very cool to see his love for photography and science come together in one publication. The Leica M1 is a camera that was designed to be a slightly more affordable option that was also commonly used in scientific settings like being hooked up to a microscope. It makes a lot of sense to me that my grandfather, a chemist, would have a Leica M1 in his collection of cameras. With no rangefinder or light meter, the M1 definitely was not an easy camera for people to pick up and use without a good knowledge of zone focusing and a good knowledge of the Sunny 16 rule. They only made 9,500 of these cameras, which is very evident by the packaging it came in. It literally came in a Leica M2 box with an M1 sticker right over where it probably says M2. And the manuals are even Leica M1, M2 manuals. It just shares all of the same packaging. My grandfather did not shoot with this camera. He gifted it to me, hoping that I would. I'm borrowing my friend Willem's Voigtlander 35mm lens for the Leica today. My personal knowledge of zone focusing is limited to what I have read very briefly, and I've definitely never practiced it, so today, we're gonna try that. To my knowledge, it's never been used. So, let's see if this thing is in working order. We're up here on Angeles Crest Highway. We stopped, got a little roll of Portra 400 in the Leica M1, and we're just gonna take advantage of this beautiful day, this beautiful light. Bro, look at the rays. Holy sh I love the viewfinder, it's super. That's the last shot, how it was. First roll in the Leica M1. OT dub. This is taking a little long. Is there any way to add a motor to this? Oh, it just got loose again. Damn it. There's film left? Yeah. <laughs> See? No, dude, it's just not moving at all. See? Yeah, let's go ahead and put that back on. Maybe we can save something. Not at all. I'll still develop it. For some reason, I thought that maybe I would actually get a couple images back from that roll. Bro, how is that possible? Bro, why is there photos? Dude, it's not even photos. It's not just photos. There's not a leak inside. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How is that possible? I can't believe we actually got frames, but this roll was partially from Huntington Beach and was also my first images up at Angeles Crest. I haven't improperly removed a roll of 35 millimeter from my camera in a long time. I'm so glad I still developed that roll because some of the images on here are some of my favorites from up in the mountains. Regardless of how much film I shoot, there is still room for mistakes. It's cool. So that goes in like that. Okay, it's all set in there. Throw that on like this. We're on zero. Gorgeous. It's so pretty. I can't believe how beautiful these little trees are, dude. <laughs> I love it. For most of this roll, I'm shooting at F16 and zone focus, so anything at five feet to infinity would be in focus. Oh, that's sick. Um, I just got way closer, so like maybe like seven feet. Ooh, end of the roll. Flip it down, pull this up. Oh, it is tight now, okay. 
I think the first time it might not have even yeah, got it at all. Place, yeah. yeah. Cross your fingers for me, boys. Yeah, there we go. Because it's not a rangefinder, because there's this metal plate covering the rangefinder patch, it truly feels like there's no way anything could possibly be in focus. So it'll be interesting to see with this first roll that I've shot through here to completion and then properly removed from the camera will look like. As someone who doesn't zone focus or use rangefinders or rangefinder style cameras and always uses an SLR with a mirror, it's a very different experience to look through a viewfinder with no focusing patch at all and just refer to the distance and number of feet to determine what to set your focus to. It's just, it feels like you're just eyeballing it. It feels like there's no way any of this stuff could be in focus, but it's been so much fun to try. really glad this BMW posted up here because I got to stop down to like F8 and zone focus a little closer, like just seven feet in front of me. And I was able to actually nail the focus on my first try. So that's pretty exciting. I already shot a roll with the Leica, developed it. I love the photos. I'm actually obsessed with some of them, but we probably already talked about that. Now I'm just out here at sunset, I'm gonna shoot a little bit more before we, uh, uh, it doesn't matter. Do you see what I like about the tree? It's so quick. Kind of walk into the shot. Waving me. Don't walk away. <laughs> Stand there. Stand right there. Stop moving. <laughs> Yeah, just give me a wave. Dude, yeah, keep doing it, keep doing it. It's gorgeous. All right, I'll just shoot one. Let's go up the hill. Oh yeah, dude, this is something else. This is beautiful. That's gorgeous. Oh, wow. Oh, dude. Dude, gorgeous. I need you to sit in again. I was like super happy that these came out in focus. I had never tried to zone focus that close before and I feel like I'm kind of a bad judge of distance when it comes to stuff within an arm's reach. So this was exciting to get right. End of the roll. Oh, dude. While I was unloading this roll, we learned how brittle the leather is on this camera. I think I'm gonna have to go for a full reskin because it has just started to chip all over the place now. I've put three rolls total through my grandfather's Leica M1, all of which you saw in this video. As an SLR user who rarely uses rangefinders or rangefinder style cameras, zone focusing is brand new and I'm stoked to continue to try to get better at it. All of the photos I shot today, I could have shot on my Nikon F2 35 millimeter camera, but obviously that's not the point. I'm glad to have a new 35 millimeter camera to learn and experiment with. The whole process of shooting with this camera is so different than my SLRs that I like to use. And because it's my grandfather's, that is what is exciting about it. Not because it's a Leica. I'm looking forward to shooting with this camera over the next couple years, and I will report back to y'all when I have a body of work worth sharing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing me put my three first rolls through my grandfather's Leica M1. Have a good one. Thank you.